I get many questions about specific conditions and will this treatment help my condition? So this video is important because it's going to help you better understand what causes the condition. And it doesn't matter what you call it. It doesn't matter if you call it a bulging disc, a herniated disc, a degenerated disc, stenosis. The cause is all the same. So you may call it something, but the underlying cause of all of them is the same. And typically, the name describes how far along you are on the pathway of the cascade. So this video is designed to help you understand what you need to do and that what the underlying cause is for your back pain. The more you understand about what's happening, the more likely you are to get the work done to fix the problem. That's the key. There is no other way. This is the only way. We've perfected this and I've had all the different causes and really it's all about that disc and the two joints in the back called the facet joints and the process of breakdown. This has been perfected over 27,000 patients proven with a half a million treatments. We know the underlying cause and when you address the cause, conditions get better. And one of the reasons if you've tried other treatments and they didn't solve your problem is because they did not address the cause. Very often they treat the symptoms, but they're not treating the cause. And if you don't treat the cause, symptoms always come back because it's a result of what we call the degenerative cascade. The degenerative cascade is a slow progressive breakdown to the joints over time that become unstable and aggravated with activities. That's what it is. I'm gonna describe what happens and how it happens. I'm gonna try not to make this too long or too complicated but it's going to require a little bit of time. So I'm hoping to get through this without boring you. Nothing's boring. So typical spine, 24 vertebrae in between each vertebrae. There is a disc. Vertebrae is the bone. The disc is in between. There's a little opening here called the foramen where the nerve comes out. And typically it's in that area if you have sciatica where that nerve gets pinched in the foramen. There are two little joints on the back of the spine called facet joints. They too can break down and very often when you have arthritis, it's in these joints right here, but it's really a combination of the disc and the two joints where things break down that cause your pain, that gives you the name of your condition. In between each vertebrae is the disc. The disc is like a jelly donut in the sense that the outside there's a thick material, inside there's a jelly-like substance we call the nucleus. The jelly gives stability to the disc the same way air gives stability to your tires. When the center of gravity goes directly through the middle of the spine, the stresses are distributed evenly in all directions. But what can happen through everyday life activities is the stresses and the load and the angle of the load can change specifically from sitting over time where you start to get that slow breakdown. It changes the load on the annulus, but also what it does is it changes the way the blood flows in and out of the disc. And when you change the way the blood flows in and out of the disc, the disc starts to break down like a degenerated disc. That's what it's called. So it's a combination of the sitting, the bending, the postures, ultimately will start to cause the weakness in the disc. And it's the uneven load that starts to perpetuate the process where you get the inflammatory process inside the disc that starts to hurt. The disc starts to get weaker and then over time it starts to break down. The longer you've had it, the more breakdown you have. And typically if you've had pain as it starts to break down, the muscles continue to get weaker through inhibition. And we've talked about inhibition a lot in the past. This is the goal of this is to tie it all together. Well, we had a breakthrough. Our breakthrough is when we identified through motion patterns in an upright MRI that the disc size can actually physically get bigger and smaller depending on your activities. And if you do the activities that make it bigger, you're aggravating. And if you do the activities that make it smaller, it gets better. But this is not about the treatment. This is really about the cause. So what we're looking for is ideally the center of gravity to go directly through the disc 
distributing the load evenly, but we know that all day long we tend to bend, and what that does is it adds motion to the vertebrae, which over time aggravates the disc, and then sometimes bending sideways does the same thing, causes what's called the lateral shear, aggravating the disc, and then rotation. So it's the three motions that will all start to aggravate the, 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 the condition. Everybody is a little bit different. Your motion pattern is different. Specifically, if you're rotation and you have pain, very often it's the facet joint that gets aggravated. If you have arthritis, rotation hurts. At the same time, also you can get that tearing of the annulus. And when you have tearing of the annulus and you're doing the rotation, which is one of the treatments that you get very often in physical therapy, which is terrible for the annular tear, aggravates that disc and doesn't get better and perpetuates the degenerative cascade. It's all about sort of getting the healing to take place by facilitating the process to make sure everything's moving the way it should because we know these discs will get aggravated and get worse with certain actions, which is just like hitting your thumb with a hammer. Bang, bang, bang. Inflammation, inflammation, inflammation. And it becomes very, very painful. It's all about that annular tear. Also, what happens is the discs can de de degenerate a little bit where they break down a little bit. So... The cause is the abnormal motion. This starts the cascade moving, okay? And once the cascade starts, it'll progressively get worse. And then what happens is this dysfunctional continuum, you develop instability of the vertebrae because the shearing forces, you develop weakness in the core from maybe just lack of fitness and or sitting too long. But the whole thing, once it starts, the, the process of the, 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 mus, the neuromuscular breakdown in conjunction with the breakdown of the joints, once it starts, it keeps going. The goal is to get it to go the opposite direction, meaning we reactivate the muscles. Now, the degenerative cascade, it's going to start with the microtrauma, which is the abnormal movement patterns. And that you'll develop a little bit of pain because you'll get the pain in the inflammation in the disc, but it starts with the microtrauma, you get the pain, and then it leads to immobilization where you get certain muscles get tight and certain muscles get loose, which is the inhibition. Doesn't matter what you call it, it all starts in here. Okay, the bulging disc is gonna start in here. The herniated disc, the degenerated disc, the stenosis, the arthritis, all starts in that process. So what do we know? You move on the disc, and you'll develop a little inflammatory process which causes the pain and that will then start to cause inhibition cause certain muscles to get tight certain muscles to get loose it causes the inhibition we had a video on the inhibition and what we identified was there's very specific muscles when they're inhibited for a long period of time they slowly just turn off and they start to develop fatty tissue so the muscle slowly starts to go the fatty tissue starts to go away that's when you get the adaptation and then over time, you'll develop the lower cross syndrome and or upper cross syndrome, which is part of the adaptation. So it starts with the poor motion, goes to the muscle, goes to the inhibition, and then uh, you start to get this lower cross syndrome. And then around the facet joints, it gets a little bit tighter. And as it gets a little bit tighter, what it's going to do is it's going to decrease the flow of oxygen and nutrients. What does that do? It makes the disc a little bit weaker, and then the disc starts to degenerate. So it's really this process over time where you've gotten the, the trauma that leads to then the pain, and then you get the immobilization that all the conditions reside in here. It's a breakdown of the disc from the repetitive load. You get decreased blood flow. You overload the facet joints. The facet joints start to break down. That is the process. It's this annular tear over time, perpetuating it through the abnormal activity that leads to all these conditions. This is why you have the bulging disc. This is why you have the herniated disc. This is why you have the annular tear. This is what overloads the facet joint that then leads to arthritis, which then decreases the flow of oxygen and nutrients into the annulus or into the nucleus. I said I'd show you the MRI. A healthy nucleus looks like this. It's bright. T2 says a view on an MRI, you can see the brightness in the disc, which is the, uh, the nucleus, the fluid in the nucleus. When the fluid dries out, it gets darker. 
So technically these two disks are degenerated and they're bulging. So bulging with degeneration, but it's part of the process. It's part of the degenerative cascade. And eventually you get that degenerated disc, but all the while that's happening, the vertebrae tend to get closer together and get to a point where they start to aggravate the nerve, which causes sciatica. So it's the degenerative disc, and the degenerative disc also leads to arthritis, because as the vertebrae get closer together, the opening physically gets smaller, and then it starts to compress on the back of the vertebrae. And then the, the facet is bearing more weight than it should, and it breaks down. And it all started with the dysfunctional continuum. Muscles go a little bit out of balance, start to move wrong, and this perpetuates. Now, our treatment is designed to solve this. That is the key. And by solving this, you address all the issues in the continuum. You address the arthritis, you address the bulging disc, you address the degenerated disc. It all happens in here. How do we do it? 10X. 10X is how we do it. We develop healthy movement patterns. We focus on our core and our stability and our bracing and our breathing. We increase our endurance so we can tolerate the loads for longer periods of time. We restore the motion in the, the major joints, the hips and the shoulders, and then we restore the strength. That will reverse this process. Herniations go away, bulges go away, degeneration gets better. Stability is the key. All starts right here, healthy movement patterns. I always say, back pain is a byproduct of something that you have control over. So the back pain is here in the degenerative cascade as a result of the dysfunctional continuum, which is where the muscles are out of balance and you're not moving properly. You have control of this. I teach you how to do it, but you do it. You have complete control, okay? The longer you've had this, the longer you have to do this. Because during this time, you've had a breakdown of the joints, you've had a breakdown of the facets causing arthritis, you've developed a little bit of a degenerated disc or bulging discs in four or five vertebrae, which somebody this week had. Doesn't matter. Absolutely does not matter. I've seen it 27,000 times. I've done this a half a million times. This is the only way out. If you don't address these issues, strengthen the muscles, restore function, you will not get better. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter if it's a laser or acupuncture or massage or fusion or electrodes or any of those fancy things or the new stem cells. Uh -uh. It's not gonna fix the problem. This is how you fix the problem. This is the way out. You wanna win? This is how you do it. It's identifying what the problem is and addressing the cause. Doesn't matter what you call it. Move well and strengthen the muscles that help you to move well. When the muscles aren't strong, you get a breakdown and then you don't move as well. That's why we preach strength. The program is, gives you control over the healthy movement patterns. Work with the core, front, back, side to side, stabilize the nucleus, address the hips, address the shoulders. It's all connected and it helps you move well. Move well. Move well puts the load in the center of the disc. Poor motion puts the load outside the center and you get a breakdown. That is the process. We want to make sure we address that, get it back in shape. This is our core, our armor. We are warriors. This is our armor. This is how we win the day. This is how we win. We focus on our armor. It's going to protect us forever. It creates the stability you need in your spine. Now this is, okay, this is an image representing your core. <laughs> You don't wear anything, just for the record, okay? And then we work with the hips. The goal is to prevent the movements that aggravate it. Warriors get better because they do the work. Resilience, toughness, 
win the day. Get strong. The cause is the degenerative cascade from abnormal motion patterns, weak muscles, nervous system not communicating, inhibition. Solve that, problem goes away. We have a program called 10X that addresses all of these issues. If you have pain, and you're not getting better, and you want to live your life again, be a warrior. 10X Back Pain Program, it's a step-by-step -step process where you get new videos every week. This has taken 30 years to develop. If you sign up today, $47. Win the day, get your life back. There is a way out. Treat the cause, don't treat the symptoms. Symptom treatment doesn't work because the cause is the degenerative cascade as a result of the abnormal motion patterns and the decrease in the strength and the motion of the joints. Fix that, get your life back. There is a way out. Sign up, there's a link in the description and there's a link in the comment section. Click the link, sign up. There should be a box up here, you can sign up there too. That's it. Win the day.